Good morning. Welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for February the 8th, Thursday. Morning prayer begins on page 79. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place, and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our full heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are, we are truly sorry and we have learned the tale. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that, that we may lie in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Oh my God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in it. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And I'm not playing your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of the same. Today he would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us be. Psalms pointed for this morning are Psalms 146 and 147. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord of my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor in any child of earth, for there is no help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to earth, and in that day their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God. Who made heaven and earth, the seas and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever. Who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord fears the strangers. He sustains the orphan and widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I put it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant it is to honor him in his praise. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem, gathers the exiles of Israel. He shoots the world of the fire, rides up their wings, counts off the number of the stars, and calls them all by their names. The Lord lifts up the lowly. But casts the wicked to the ground. He covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. He provides food for flocks and herds and for the young ravens when they cry. But the Lord has pleasure in those who fear him, in those who await his gracious favor. Thank you, God. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He 
he sends out his command to the earth, and his word runs very swiftly. He scatters his tail like bread. Who can stand against his toll? The sense of his personality imposed the Lord of He declared his word to Jacob, statutes and his judgments to Israel. He could not Glory to Father and Son. And this was the beginning. It is now will be forever. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I go away and you seek me and die in sin, where I'm going you cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he show himself since he says, Where I'm born, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of it. I tell you that you will die in your sins, but you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Even what I have told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you and much to judge. But he who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he spoke to them of the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own authority, but speak thus as the Father has taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone. For I always do what is pleasing to him. As he spoke thus, many believed in him. Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Enemy 16. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. <clears throat> he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. The hands of all of his. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his own family. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham. Us to free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Lord. For you go to the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. And in the tender compassion of our God, for the dawn of the Lord's to shine on those who the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, as it was in the beginning, is now, will be forever. <clears throat> I believe in God, Father, mighty, creator of heaven, I believe in Jesus Christ, only Son of our Lord. He was conceived in the Holy Spirit and born in the Virgin Mary. He suffered and was crucified, died in his spirit. He descended from the dead, and on the third day he ascended into heaven and was seated at the right hand. He will never begin to judge the living and the dead. Believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of everlasting. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Let us pray. Father, the Lord in heaven, let be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. Give us this day our give us our sins. That is, we forgive those who do. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory.
Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. That your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, and all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Be guided in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon our let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Or create in us clean hearts of God. Thank you. Set us free, O God, from the bondage of our sins, and give us the liberty of that abundant life which you have made known to us in your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Generous God, pour out on our leaders your Holy Spirit, we pray, that guided by you in all things, they would build the world for which you own. Of all whose unity of love is our eternal goal, breathe on our leaders your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. And through reaching out to one another in heart and mind, they may direct our, our steps in paths of peace, justice, and love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, we pray for your church that we may seek you all our days. Loving God, the desire of those who seek you and the joy of those who find you. Call us this day out of our apathy and complacency towards the vision of your kingdom. Strengthen our hope, renew our zeal, and deepen our love for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I might invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Or in we are all for it. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants to be us. For all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all, we bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. Above all, in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, we use the grace and the hope. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your wisdom. That with truly thank us, you may show forth your praise, not only us, but by giving up our sins in the service. We might walk before you in boldness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, we live with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory of your God. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all. Everyone.